Hey guys, Lee H here, aka Criterium Racer. And this past couple weeks, I've got a couple giant giveaway wins from some great YouTube channels. Unbelievable ones. Big ticket cards here. The first one is going to be from COG Sports Cards. Reason why I started watching those guys is because they're a giant Milwaukee Braves fan. They open tons of vintage, new stuff. Their live stream is awesome. But in the last live stream, well, not last one, I got to pick out a car. Um, and it's going to be one of my most valuable cars as a kid. A SGC Mark McGuire um, SGC 7 right there. Sharp looking car, a little off center. I don't have this card in my collection and graded. I have one at home. Well, home is my, my parents' place, and which I'm going to next week back in Wisconsin. Maybe I'm going to dig it out of the attic. But a great addition to my collection. I want to thank, where's the sticker? Um, COG Sports Card. I'm going to put a link down below. And great little card. The second one is another one of my favorite vintage guys who does junk wax and all this stuff. We have very similar interests, very similar buying patterns. Um, is going to be Sammy Thunder. And let's see what card I won for him for his, was it 200 or 300 card giveaway? Uh, he got to that milestone pretty darn quickly. Go check out Sammy Thunder. But this is another giant rookie card that I don't have in my collection. Ooh, check that out. We got a Ozzy Smith rookie card. As usual, off-center because of where it was placed on the set. But hell, I don't care about off center if you've seen my channel. Great looking corners right there from 1979. Big, big addition to my collection. Um, thanks, guys. Go check out COG Sports Cars and Sammy Thunder. This was an auction I won from the John Jabs, the past is alive. If you've seen, <clears throat> you've probably seen me in the chat. I've been with him since the beginning. And I only have this card graded. So I put this up at a really good price at one of his auctions. Let me cut that a little better. And I was happy to get it ungraded. I'm, yeah, raw card. Okay, thanks for bearing with me. Ooh, and he threw in a sweet, wacky package. I don't have that one. Thank you, John, at the past is alive. I don't have that pack. He knows I'm a non-sports car pack collector also. And I remember opening these up, you know, when I was younger. I don't have the vet set either. But this pack I am stoked about. 1990, some wax right there. And it's a vet. And this is the car that I don't, I have, I only have raw. I mean, graded. Would be a Paul Molitor, Alan Trammell. Rookie card, and who, who can else? Don't forget UL Washington. Sweet, and these are all just throw in. John's great that way. Go check up um, the passes alive. Oh, I did win this at an, um, one of his other auctions. Um, I'm gonna start collecting Jim Abbey. He was on the Brewers. Um, just what he did for baseball is just awesome. Does it kind of sticks out of the top loader here? But I'm one of those dorks who have the rare um vintage uh, card holders from 51 56 top set they're hard to find um the the over slightly oversized um bowman and early tops one and we got robbie ventura rookie card and everyone says future hall of famer um tito martinez rookie card nice little lot picked up for a few dollars glad i got those in my collection uh, awesome so um, thank you guys for stopping on by. I mean, doesn't get much bigger for wins for giveaways than these um, great, great channels. You guys, you spent 79 McGuire USA team. Thanks, guys. Um, I think in a couple days, I'm going to show you what I picked up at the card shop for um, under $100. Picked up some vintage baseball. And um, eventually, probably... I'm going to be back at my parents' house probably in a week's time and probably dig through the attic and pick out some boxes or rifle through some cards. Until next time, guys, we'll catch you later.